Spirit is what takes care. I know everything this, that, that, that ever's been ever been put in the past is 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 wonderful and has has credited up to this moment and up to this place where we are right now. But but I just want to <clears throat> I want to see it go and I want to see it grow and I want to be at the next dimension that God wants it to be at. But the only way that's going to happen is for the fire of his spirit to be allowed to come down in manners that it's never came down in before. And I see us as we're doing that. And I saw that, that one little flame when it when it broke into to flames and it kept growing and it kept growing and, and, and it kept burnt, it keeps burning. Of everybody's life, you know, there, there has been at least some point in our life, and in, in the right circumstances, those circumstances would arise again. That that if we didn't have a fire because we needed the heat from it or whatever, if the right circumstances were presented to us, we we would have need of a fire. And if we didn't have a fire, uh, our life could be on the line. Fire is important. And in the Bible, you know, the Bible says that in the book of Leviticus that the fire of God was to never go out on the altar. That the fire was to continue to burn. That it was continued to always have at least some coals where a fire can be started. And, you know, everybody is drawn to a fire. If, you, if, you're, out, if you're out in the woods at night and it's dark and damp, uh, you need a you need a fire, and 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 in this particular situation of the text of this scripture, everybody was drawn to the fire. The fire's purpose was because the people of God needed the fire. They'd been on the ship; they had a shipwreck, and now they're cold, and and they need the fire. So the fire was built. But because the people of God needed the fire, everyone was drawn to the fire. The barbarians were drawn to the fire. Uh, the, the individuals from the sea that were cold and the shipwrecked individuals were drawn to the fire. And the man of God with a mission, the man of God that had the mission was around the fire. And he was even help, helping build the fire. And, and there's something else that's drawn to the fire too, and that's snakes. The devil will look around and see us with a move of God that's going on. He'll look around and see God working and he'll, he'll begin to think that he's got figured out what God's trying to do. And he'll start working and he'll start raging and he, he'll, he's drawn to the fire. But what's so good about this is the same thing that, that drew him to or to out of the fire was the same thing that destroyed him. And that was the fire. The fire. He was drawn to the fire, but he was destroyed by the fire. Satan may come around here and he may start trying to fight us and he may try to see what he can do to destroy the, but this thing's bigger than me and it's bigger than you and it's bigger than anyone else because it's a fire of the Holy Spirit. And God knows what dimension that we are at. God knows whether it's at that point that it's about to burst into flames where the fire begins to grow and the fire begins to go and you know when you when you hear the history of revivals of the past of church history um, you hear of how it started and then you you, you watch it as it, it goes it goes for an X amount of time period of time sometimes decades and then it starts dying out 
And the Lord spoke to me and said, when, when we build the fire, it's God's will for the fire to not go out. But when we, as long as we are giving that fire fuel to burn, the fire is going to continue to burn. And the fire is not going, as long as we're giving the fire wood, it's going to burn. Um, but everybody has a purpose. Fire is used for so many things in the word of God. It is uh, on that altar, that sacrificial offer that the sacrifice was consumed. And they received an answer from God on the altar. I believe the altar represents our prayer life. And when we as a people of God uh, offer our bodies a living sacrifice to God. On that altar. Bible says that he. If he sees us building a fire. He said he would be drawn to that. He would be drawn to the presence of God. He would be drawn for those that are hungry. He was drawn to Elijah. When Elijah asked for the fire. But that same fire. When you're feeling vulnerable and dangerous. This is why a church needs to be in a constant state of revival. Amen. Right here. Because. When that fire is burning out and you're alone and vulnerable in the dangerous woods, so to speak, and you need the fire, when you know how to build a fire, it protects you from the dangers. Dangerous creatures don't like fire. That's what I, I have discovered. Is dangerous creatures do not like fire. And, and even Satan don't like it. But one day, the Bible says one angel is going to come and bind him Amen. with a chain. Amen. One angel is going to bind him with a chain. And he's going to the place that, that he don't want to go. Amen. Amen. So fire, let the fire come. Let's build a fire. Let's, let's get Amen. excited about it and let's get the wood on the fire. Amen. Come to the Wednesday night Bible study. I'm building a fire. Amen. I don't know what dimension of this fire I am at right now, but I'm here tonight building a fire. If it burst into flames tonight, it would be okay with me. I would love to see it, but however long and whatever it takes, I'm here to build a fire in the spirit of the Holy Ghost in my life. In this church, in this city, I want to see this city affected, affected by this church because this church has been affected so much by God. Amen. Amen. Fire, fire has, see, when, when the fire really starts burning, the fire is, has positive effects and it has negative effects the fire affects everything but it affects everything differently you could just imagine um, with the right kind of fire explosions and Snaps and burning would be going on. And yet God is, <laughs> he's saying if darkness has a personality, darkness would not like the fire. If darkness is a spirit, it will not like the fire. It will be destroyed by the fire. So when we get the fire, let's stand. When we get the fire of God built on the altar and we are letting that fire burn, as long as we're giving it fuel, it's going to keep burning. We can start into revival and stay in revival until Jesus returns. 
Amen. We can jump into it and we can see it happen. And the, the difference that one day can make, one night can make in the life of people and individuals because the fire came. The fire of the Holy Spirit came. Amen. So keep putting sticks on the fire. Keep, keep coming to the things that are happening around here, the things that are going on, because when it bursts into flame, praise God, it's going to begin to burn like no other. Can we raise our hands to the Lord right now and just love him tonight and thank him? Thank him for his goodness. Oh, I thank you for your mercy, God. Bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire of the Holy Spirit as we offer our lives, ourselves, as living sacrifices in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. When fire gets around some things, Like ceramic or some kind of baked creation of that nature. Praise God. Amen. I'm glad to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. I'm thankful for what the Lord is doing. Uh, we are getting.